Hey, welcome back everyone, General Tony here, coming back with a brand new COC episode, and welcome back to the pod. So basically, yesterday, we attacked this insane troll base on the channel, and the rule is, you've got to spawn every single one of your troops at the arrow. Now, we had tried so many different attacks, and not one of them managed to three-star the base, so we are back for revenge. This is basically what happens, you spawn your troops at the arrow, they either go down the pod on the left, or they go down the pod on the right, and then eventually, they make their way into the center, where the Inferno Towers are, the Town Hall, and loads of other defenses. So as I said, we are back for revenge, we're going to be trying a variety of one troop mass armies, we're going to start with all giants, then we're going to try all golems, then we're going to try all miners, then we're going to try all, maybe all dragons, so make sure you stay tuned guys, we are about to get ourselves into some live action. So what I want you guys to do, if you had the choice to use any troop on this base, what one troop do you think could 3 star the base? Let me know down below in that comment section, if I haven't tried it, then I will try it in the next video. So let me know one troop which you believe can 3 star the pod. So first live attack is about to get started, we just need to gem ourselves, the. Uh, we're going to boost the barracks, we're going to boost the spell factory, we're going to cook ourselves up our second army, and we're also going to gem the hero. So I'm hoping that at some point in this episode, we are going to be able to 3 star Jasu's base, because as I said, we didn't manage to do it yesterday. So the first attack is going to be 48 giants, 2 heal spells, 2 rage spells, 1 freeze and a poison. We also have a couple of troops inside of the defending clan castle. So here we go, we're about to get ourselves into our first live attack. Now because this is a collaboration with my friend Jasu, he also has a YouTube channel. We are doing a $100 giveaway which ends this week. So we're doing two $50 gift cards. If you want the chance to win a $50 gift card, all you need to do is drop a like on the episode just to show some support to the channel. Channel, make sure you click the link down below click enter and you'll be entered into the giveaway There is a link in the description box guys click it click enter and you're done as I said Make sure you leave a like just to show some support to the channel. So here we go first live attack coming in We're gonna be using 48 max level giants guys. So there goes the king the queen the grand warden and we're literally just gonna kind of Maybe we'll keep all the giants together. I'm not sure if that's going to be better that way. So we're, gonna, we're, we're not going to drop in the defending clan castle just yet because it does have hog riders inside of it. And I don't really want my little piggies to die too early. So this is actually quite cool. All the giants in the Grand Warden have gone down on the right hand side. And we're going to drop in the, uh, the defending clan castle now. Some balloons and some hog riders. And they're actually going to follow the heroes which is pretty damn insane. So here we go. We're going to drop down a rage spell really early. Gonna use the King's ability. Here comes a defending clan castle, guys. We're gonna pop the Grand Warden's ability. No, what's happening to my giants? My giants, my poor little giants, guys. We're gonna drop a free spell on the balloons to stop them from completely just terrorizing my entire giant army. So it looks okay, I suppose. It doesn't look too bad right now. Here we go. Heal spell's gonna go down, guys. There's a Valkyrie. There is actually a defending Valkyrie tearing down my giants. So uh, Jasu's been a little bit sly here. Putting some pretty damn insane troops inside of the defending clan castle. The Hawk Riders are still alive, which is actually very surprising. But it does not look like we're going to be three-starring the base, guys. Wow, we haven't even one-starred it. So Giants are a no-go. Do not try Giants against this base. I really want to three-star it. Is it even possible? I'm not really too sure, guys. So we still got the Queen's ability to use. So we're going to pop that. We're going to get a one-star, then we're going to end the raid. And we're going to try a different troop, because obviously Giants are not the way to go. You know what we're going to do actually, we're going to try and mix it up, before we get ourselves into a different troop, we're going to delete half the giant army, and then we're actually going to bring maybe half wizard, so it's going to be maybe, we'll drop it to 30, so we're going to drop that to 30, we're going to train ourselves some troops, so we're going to bring, what should we go with, let's go with, um, oh I didn't mean to do that, let's go with uh, some Harry Potters guys, so hopefully the Harry Potters are going to be able to do a decent job, so there we go, and we're going to bring ourselves two extra giants. So second live attack coming in, this time we do have the Giants, we have the Barbarian King, we have of course the, uh, the King, the Queen, the Grand Warden, all our troops, and then we have Wizards this time, so it's going to be slightly different. Now I would actually like all of the troops to go down the same valley, and they've done it, they're going to be going down the same valley, there goes a little Wizard army. I think the rest of the Wizards are going to kind of follow the, um, the Barbarian King, which is cool, that's okay. So we've got loads of giants over on the right hand side, we're going to drop down the defending clan castle and the three Harry Potters guys, and this is where it's going to get interesting. Wow! What is happening to my- Woo! We just lost those wizards. Okay, that isn't really too great. Okay, so we got the Grand Warden, 
some wizards on the uh, the right hand side there there goes the free spell we're going to drop down the poison spell now i'm hoping this time the defending clan castle does not completely wipe out all my troops the grand warden's just way too far back he's not doing a great job here we go rage spell's going to go down get the giants moving out of the way of the uh those balloons they've been taken out but once again it's just not looked like it's going to happen guys so it looks like our giants are going to fall so this base may actually honestly be impossible to defeat. I don't see a way to beat it if you spawn. If you don't cheat and you spawn every single one of your troops at the arrow, I don't know if this base is actually even beatable. So our Archer Queen, we're going to have to end it again, guys. So it does not look like Giants and Wizards haven't done a great job. So let's go ahead and switch up the army one more time. We're going to completely delete everything inside of there. So there we go. There go the Wizards. There go the Giants. And we're going to take a look at what other troops we could possibly bring. So, um, I'm feeling Valkyries. Let's do this, guys. Valkyries. Valkyries could be cool. So, we're going to do this. We're going to do something very different this time. 24 Valkyries. We're going to bring 25. And we've got 10 Harry Potter. So, what we're going to do this time, we're going to keep the Valkyries back until the Wizard, the King, the Queen, and the Grand Warden have killed the defending clan castle. Then, we're going to drop the Valkyries into the center. So here we go guys, this is going to be a completely different strategy to anything we've done so far. So we're going to drop down all of the wizards, we're going to drop down, you know, just everything there. And we're going to see what happens once we've destroyed the defending clan castle. Then we're going to drop in the Valkyries. You know what, we're going to use five. We're going to send in five. Five Valkyries just to back up the Barbarian King. There we go. Grand Warden's ability is ready to be used as well. We're not going to use a single spell. This is just a kill squad. This is kind of what Supercell wants. They want us to use a kill squad. So the Valkyries have taken out loads of the buildings. we got the Poison spell ready to go. Barbarian King's ability is going to get used really early to take out that Bomb Tower. Hopefully going to drop down a Heal spell, a Rage spell, a Poison. And we're going to keep the Free spell. We're not going to use the Free spell just yet. We want these troops to take out the Defending Clan Castle. Here we go, guys. The Queen is going to get her ability used. We're going to pop the Grand Warden's ability now as well. If the Queen can actually take out the, uh, the Inferno Tower, that would be amazing. Nope, she's not going to do it. Okay. So the queen sucks, but there we go. Okay, so we've killed the defending clan castle. And now it's time for the Valkyries to really show us what they're made of. So here we go, guys. Valkyrie power. There go the, uh, oh, damn, big bomb. Big bomb's not really going to do too much, to be honest. It, it's Valkyries. They're absolute tanks. So they've already taken out loads of the buildings there. I'm hoping the hog riders and the balloons are actually going to swing into the center. Going to drop down a heal spell, a rage spell, and a free spell all at the same time. Let's see what happens. Here we go, guys. So, it's looking okay. Valkyries demolishing the base. We're up to 50-something percent. There goes the uh, the Earthquake spell into the center. Come on, this could be so close. We could actually possibly do this, but I don't think it's going to work. Okay, so obviously that didn't work, guys, but we are going to try it one more time. This time, we're not going to wait so long to deploy the Valkyries. We're actually going to deploy them after the, uh, the Barbarian King, the Queen, and the Grand Warden actually reach about this point here. Then we will drop in the Valkyries, which are hopefully going to, you know, kind of join them in the center and maybe do some more damage. So this is going to be our final attempt using the Valkyrie armor, guys. King, Queen, Grand Warden, five Valkyries, and we're going to send in five Wizards this time. So not all of them, only five. Let's see if they can do this. So the Heroes and the Valkyries hopefully going to go down. Oh, damn, please don't hit the Spring Traps. No, no, oh, my poor Valkyries. Yeah, they just got roasted. Okay, it's okay. We've still got a couple of live guys, so it could be, uh, you know, it could be okay. So here we go. We're going to wait for the uh, Barbarian King to take out the Wizard Tower. Then we're going to send in the Valkyries. So here we go. Valkyries are all going to go down on the right-hand side now. There they go. There goes the Defending Clan Castle. There go the other Harry Potters. And here we go. So we're going to pop the Grand Warden. Sorry, the King's Ability one more time. There goes the Poison Spell. There goes the Free Spell. There goes a the Heal Spell. There goes the Grand Warden's Ability. There goes a the Rage Spell. Let's see if we can do this. Now, over on the other side of the base, we have a heal spell ready to go down. There we go. We have a rage spell ready to go down. There we go. We are... Uh, we're looking okay, I suppose. We've still got the Queen's ability to use. Here we go. Valkyries making their way up into the center bit. It's looking better, I think, guys. I'm not really too sure. It's looking, definitely looking a little bit better. We've still got the Queen's ability to use. Hopefully, the Valkyries and the Hog Riders. Here comes a balloon. Here we go. This is looking much better, guys. Can we finally... Three star, the impossible base. It's going to be close. It's going to come down all to the queen, I think. Here we go. Queen's ability has just been used, guys. There goes the cannon. There goes the inferno tower. And every single base 
every single defense has finally been taken out. We've attacked this base about 10 times and it came down to a very smart strategy using the Valkyrie. So that was pretty cool. So you know what? Massive shout out to Jasu guys for designing this base. This was probably, I'm not even going to lie, this is the most challenging troll base I've ever taken on from any clan mate that's ever made me a troll base. This has definitely been the most challenging. It's taken me, I would say, at least 20 attacks maybe to three star it and find a great strategy. Now obviously you could three star it so easily if you attacked it from anywhere, but the whole point of these bases is to attack it from the arrow and the arrow only. That is the only rule guys. You are not allowed any earthquake spells, any jump spells, any wall breakers, and you must attack the base from the arrow. But there we go. Three star has finally been secured. So we are going to end this episode here, guys. Don't forget to leave a like down below and subscribe to the channel if you enjoyed this. There is a giveaway going on in the description box. As I said, click the link, click enter, and you will be entered to win a $50 gift card. I will see you very shortly for another video. Have a great evening, guys. Peace out.